I did it. Okay, so I have the bottom two walls. Now we just need to put on this wall here and this wall here. And then the ceiling is an easy part. If you want, you can do the ceiling already. You just tape it and it flaps up and down. But then I will show you how to build a mechanism that will cause it so it's like a clip and you can undo that. Okay, so this wall pretty this is one of this is the one of the harder walls because um if you've been doing it, I'm covering the inside as I go, just taping it gives it more support and it looks cooler. So this one is harder to do. You can kind of like turn it on its side and do it. You just put one piece of tape here, one here, and one here. So you don't have to be big pieces, but you're gonna be covering it all, and then the inside is harder to cover. A lot harder to cover. This is where it starts to really come together. So try not to make these walls crooked. If you do, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. It's just crooked. So okay. make sure you're lining it up the right direction. Four and a half inches should be the way it's facing up. And then it should be five inches wide. Yeah, my thing is bending a little bit. So it's to... There we go. And then put the tape right there. Then you do this on all three sides, and then you cover it. You cover it. You cover this space. You cover this space here, and then you can do the inside part. I find it a little bit harder, but it will help, especially if you tape it here and here and here and here. So I'll see you when I finish that. Then we, yeah. Then do the other wall like that. Yeah, easy. Okay, guys. So I have news for you. One, I move location. That isn't already obvious. Uh, two. I ran out of burst tape. See? Great. Okay. The only other tape in the house that was suitable ish for making a box. So these two. So I'm going to be using these, not very strong. But the duck of the tape right now. Okay. Anyway, I just want to show you that I have finished the first big wall. Just a jumble of birds. So colorful. Yeah, inside may be very bumpy, like mine. Ugh, it's hard to do the tape like that. But, oh well, outside looks fine. Okay, so, um, this is what it should look like, or better, hopefully better. So I'm gonna do the other wall, same thing, and it will look like this. You know, I'll just drop one of the pieces upstairs. Okay, I'll see you when I get the next side on. Okay, so I'm back. I have finished with the other wall. Since it was just going to be plain blue tape, um, I decided to label it. It took me forever to come up with this thing. Very creative. Pokemon box. Okay, so I didn't actually do the inside of this one. It's not really a point. I mean, brown, blue, same difference. Anyway. And it was like really hard to reach my hand and with this tape it just rolls up because it's like paper tape. Yep, so finish that part. Now this is the hardest part. Ish. It depends. On what you like. So here we have the box. And then we have to do the roof. Okay, so first you gotta take a piece of tape and you're only gonna be taping me on this side. Hopefully you didn't go ahead and just tape it on the top with how are you gonna open your box? Okay, anyway, so take a big piece of tape. Big piece of tape. Big. Okay, don't need that piece. Alright, tape, open. Close it, take a piece. Take a piece of tape. See, it just, just rolls up like that. Lay it. Lay it across the roof part, and then wherever you want it, you put it on, and you put the tape down. That's not it. Layer it. Same thing as all the walls. Layer it so it'll just be able to lift up and down. But if you're using duct tape, it stays up. Even with this, it stays up. And with the duct tape, it goes like that. So the box will always be like this. So that's what the pen is for. I'll show you what to do with that for a second. First, finish your lid. Make sure you put some tape here to keep it from just folding. I'm just being super clumsy. Okay, I'll see you when I finish that.
Okay, so I have finished taping on my lid. As you can see, it always stays in one direction. Huh. Okay, so first, so if you had a pen like this, this was for writing. So I said you might need two pens, it depends. Um, because this one, what you're going to need to do is cut this at the top. Um, so what we're going to be doing is you can have rubber bands that go through the top here and they will come down and there will be the pen part, the part of the pen, the ink tube, it was sticking out here and the rubber band will latch on and you just pull it on and off, open, close, open, close. Okay, so what you need to do is don't cut it too far off because you know pens explode. Cut it at the back. You don't need a big piece. Around this much should be good. An inch should be the most you'll need. Don't hit the ink. I did it. Oh wow, I'm did I hit the ink? A little bit. Okay, so obviously. Oh yeah. I hit I hit the back of the pen. That's ink. I'm gonna cut that part off. Cut it off. I might use a different pen. Yep, this should be should be good. So obviously for this you're gonna need something to poke a hole with. If your scissors are sharp enough, you're gonna need to part cut two holes. It depends on how stretchy your rubber bands are, because one of them is gonna need to be on the top here and one of them is gonna be here for the rubber bands. Then obviously you're gonna need a rubber band. So I need to get that. And you're gonna need some glue to glue this in place. You're gonna put it in a hole, but it's not gonna hold very well. So I'll be right back and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so I have here a bag of rubber bands. You will need one, two, max three. That's the top that you're gonna need. It depends on how stretchy your rubber bands are. I have, and I have to poke the holes. Careful. Some super glue. Paper towel so I don't get super glue on the table. That would be bad. Okay, so first step, poke in the holes. Actually, first you want to see if the rubber bands are stretchy. So you want to see how stretchy the rubber band is. There's some water in here, so the hole will be around here. I will put the hole there, and watch what I do. So, I make a little bit of hole. Easy to cut through. Probably could use scissors, but this works way better. Okay, do that. Take one rubber band. You're probably going to need two rubber bands right here. Dab it through the hole. Oh my gosh, it's hard. Put it through the hole at the top. This is not stretchy enough for it to go all the way around to the front because what you're going to need to be doing is pulling both of them. If your rubber band is stretchy enough, then great. We have to pull them both up here and tie a rubber band to that. But since mine is not long enough and it's probably going to rip if I tie it, I'm just going to take a second rubber band and I'm just going to make a little loop. Tie it however you want. Don't come out and then tie it. Now you have a knot so it holds it in place a little bit more. So you pull these two loops up like that. Pull it here. Then you take your third rubber band if you need it, it depends. And then you put it through and do the same loop that you just did. You just take it and then put it through itself. Pull, done. Okay, so it's not done yet. So let's see how far this rubber band can go down. Almost to the bottom. So I will pull the hole almost at the bottom. Now the pen thing, you don't want to have put too far in because then it will get in the way of the cards. Just a little bit of a push. And try not to pass through the duct tape. Have it like that. Take glue, alcohol glue, whatever kind of glue you have. Bit of a thing. I think I put too much. What else could I do? Okay, there should be good for glue. Okay. And basically, now I'll get it on my finger. Good enough. Put that down. And then I stick it. 
Okay, now I just have to let the glue dry and easily you put your rubber band around the pen ink tube. And I think that's it, guys, for this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you want to see other tutorials and tell me what you want me to make. I can try to find a way to make it. And I like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Daily uploads, nerf, Pokemon, all that stuff. Um, stay tuned for more. See you guys next time.